morning guys i thought i'd start off this vlog saying hi <laughs> i'm just doing my makeup i'm going for lunch with jimmy shu um, which should be super fun it's in notting hill in a restaurant called casa cruz and i'm just gonna do my lipstick and ignore my hair i'm also sat in the foot on the floor because I don't know about you, but just anyone else, you could have the most beautiful dressing table and I will always want to do my makeup on the floor. Going in with the Rimmel lip liner. Then going in with the Pixie by Petra. Oh, natural. I feel like I go on about this lipstick so much, don't I? that time of year isn't it we're like your skin my skin because it's gone from hot to cold real fast oh i don't know it just feels so itchy flaky patchy i feel like going from summer to autumn my body just gets so out of whack i feel like i need to i'm gonna head after gym shoe to the gym i'm gonna have a long cardio session sweat it all out really get like my diet back on eat no chocolate no alcohol because i just need to reset my whole body because i feel so out of whack and um i don't know if you guys saw something really excited that happened last night i saw so you guys probably know i'm on a tv advert for karen millen on the, on the tv it's so random um so i'll pop a thingy of it here i like was watching married at first sites last night and it went into Made in Chelsea and I heard the music because obviously I've edited that so, for so long I heard the da -da 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 -da, and I was like oh my god where's my camera where's my phone to try and film it and um, but yeah I edited the whole thing so it's mind-blowing that my editing skills are good enough for the TV it literally blows my mind I remember when really good tip when I when I started doing what I'm doing when I started wanting to make videos <coughs> I remember looking at the softwares and what software people used and there's obviously iMovie which a lot of YouTubers use or Final Cut but I remember thinking if I'm going to learn something I might as, le as well learn what like the professionals use so I used Adobe software, I learned all about it and I've edited on Adobe software ever since so now that I'm at the stage where I can create TV adverts it's coming really really useful because I already, I've six years I've been using the software for so don't skip corners when you're wanting to learn a new subject that's my theory so yeah i it's incredible let me if you see it on please share it on stories or something tag me in it i'd love to see if you can see it because <laughs> i couldn't get my phone out quick enough yesterday but yeah it's really really cool and um i have just so much work coming in i am literally back to back at the moment which is why i've got the rail of stuff behind me i'm just off out this morning as I said but I actually do not know what I am using do gonna do for my hair my hair's like I don't know whether it's snapped off or it's baby hair come through but it's like got this little short bit at the front but I kind of like it I'm thinking of maybe cutting in a side fringe I don't know but my gosh it is cold today absolutely freezing but yeah that, it, that tv advert makes me laugh so much because it was just me and yas filming it there's no stylist there's no hairdresser there's no makeup artist and always when i shoot outside like <laughs> talking about my hair my hair's the type of hair where if the wind blows like it sticks in position like it won't if i i rarely wear my hair down shooting because it by the end of like a four hour shoot it would just literally be like a bird's nest um, so that's why I always have it in a slick bun. So one day I'd love to have like actual professional makeup artists and hairdressers if I'm going to be on telly. But it is what it is. And I think it turned out really, really cool. So I'm happy with the results. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. So we're going to sort this out and come back. Okay, I'm back. I've gone for Mermaid Waves. I've just stuck in Beauty, Beauty Works Jumbo Crimper and the Milk and Blush so this is my outfit, you can probably see it a bit better. This is a Zara belt, I've got some boots, I can't remember where these are from, maybe Zara too. Caramelin knitted jumper, and yeah, I just crimped my hair. But this is Casa Cruz, and I'm going to take you upstairs. We're so excited to have you all here, and Gaffin's DIY collection last year. 
So guys, welcome to the Jimmy Shoe dinner. We are here to celebrate Jimmy Shoe. One night, one day? Effectively, yeah. I want to show you which is the red. That was the original one that you wanted in 2021. And then I want to show you a year later. Um, more of an evening. Yeah. I actually like the fact that you haven't brought new ones out. It's the same. It's like with clothing when you're trying to like keep the same things. I hate think new, new, new all the time. Like when you have a fragrance, you want to keep buying it in like 20 years time. Like it's just, if it's your signature fragrance, you don't want it to go out of stock anytime soon, do you? So I actually have this on today. Accidentally, I just picked it up. Like I didn't even think about it. It's my go-to fragrance. I want you by Jimmy Choo. But how beautiful is this? We were on the wine on a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> I was like, I'm not drinking today, but here we are, the glass of wine. So just finished up the lunch at Jimmy Shoe. It's been amazing. Look how beautiful this meal looks. Yeah. And we've had an amazing dinner. It feels so Christmassy, doesn't it? But yeah, it's always good to catch up with everyone. And I'm sorry if I didn't turn the camera on enough. Um, but yeah, I don't think I, I showed you my outfit in the toilet. But yeah, I'm gonna head home. Just back from Jimmy Shoe. So I did a little unboxing of the two fragrances. So we have this one, which is red and glittery. Which I'm all for. So this is Jimmy Shoe. I want Chew Eau de Parfum. I actually put one on this morning, but they're not quite the same, are they? Are they the same? Okay, they're the same. <laughs> and then I have the black, which is I want Chew Forever. Okay. So this one I don't have, and then the black sparkly one. I just adore the Jimmy Shoe bottle. I think it's so beautiful on a dressing table. Okay. Oh, completely different fragrances. Okay. So this is I Want You. This is I Want You Forever. I don't know which one I would enjoy better. I shall report back. I'm going to try on some new lipsticks from YSL. And I will report back which one I like the best. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I need to let them sit a while. But these are the two bottles. How beautiful. So it's whether you're a black and gold or more of a pinky gold. Um, okay, YSL. So YSL have sent me their new lipsticks. And I thought... Let's have a little try on because I feel like there's so many beauty products on in the market and you don't know which ones are out, which ones are new. So I thought I'd do a little try on session. I'm going to take this out because my God, it's painful. Ow. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a bit of a me color, isn't it? Okay. Oh, this is nice. My lips are so dry. So if they look crusty, I'm very sorry. But it's like the change of season, like when you put the heat on, everything's crusty. And five quite like that. Okay, so this is more of a, more of an orangey one. NM. I hope these are the shades. So that's the difference. One slightly peachier. Let me get some tissue. The heavens have just opened. I feel like it looks like it's light time. So I think this is probably more my shade. I love like an orangey peachy undertone. I think that's a me colour, isn't it? <laughs> Probably a lot darker than I usually go for. But that is NM. That's a real me colour. We've got a pinky one. I love like the packaging of YSL. It's so beautiful, isn't it? <gasps> love a red. Sorry, so these are more like an up an evening. I don't know what I was watching, but I was watching something and it was like, wouldn't it be nice just to be a red lippy girl? Like Taylor Swift always has a red lip on. Imagine if that was your go-to, just like you feel lost without your red lip on. Quite like that vibe. I'm gonna go in with the pinkier one. So this is shade PM. I hope these are the shades. Oh, it's not as dark as it I envisioned it. I never think I suit. I ever suit like a real bold red lip or a real like nudie one. I don't ever think I suit an in-between. But let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Do I suit an in-between colour? 
<laughs> let me know. Okay, this is quite fun. I like this. Like I'd never sit down and do this in a shop. So maybe this is really handy for you guys to see what new colors YSL have. Which one should I do? They're very similar, aren't they? One's more of a brownie red. Oh, they look really different on camera. So this is more of a brownie red and this is more of a vivid red. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like that's not... <laughs> We're seeing two different things here. Okay, we're going to go for the vivid red, which I thoroughly enjoy. Okay, the red. The red is redding. I kind of like a red lip. I feel like there's definitely a time and a place for a red lip. I always feel like a red lip looks really good when you've got your hair like sleeked back, like not much makeup on and a bold red lip. Okay, so that is shade off five. Okay, the last one is RM. But yeah, these are the new in colours from YSL. I think this one is a mean colour, isn't it? But let me know if you think I suit a red. What's this one? I think I suit the shade NM. It's my colour, isn't it? It's my jam. I've actually got some new in bits from Laura Mercier, but if these are lip colours. Oh yeah, ooh, look at that colour. <gasps> I think I'm gonna have to put this on by Laura Mercier. Hang on. Too little time. Lots of you keep messaging me about the um, Karen Millen advert on the telly. Do you know what? It's so, such a weird feeling. I feel like if someone had told me 10 years ago that I'd have my own, like an advert of myself on telly, I would have been like, when things like this happen, it just never seems real. Like even like when you hit milestones on Instagram or YouTube or, None of it seems real. None of it. It's really weird. A really weird feeling like, like lots of my old school friends have messaged me and I don't know, it just it doesn't, doesn't seem real. If you wondered what it felt like, I don't think it's real. <laughs> okay, my lips are well and truly stained, don't they? Okay, Laura Mercier. Shade like some kind of lip balm. It's like not it's like not a lipstick and it's not a lip matte. It's a lip balm, which I enjoy. It's not that like doesn't feel like you've got anything on your lips. Had a really good time at Jimmy Shoe. I love finding out about new beauty products and new fragrances and stuff. It just reminds me of the times at Harrods when I used to be a Harrods girl selling perfume and stuff. So it's a whole 360 that I'm invited to these events. Got so much work on this week, so I'm gonna take you with me, see what happens, and yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. Guys, I just did an order from Skims. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Why is it tiny? Why is it like a baby? This has to stretch, surely. <laughs> I got it out and I was like, See, I have ordered from Skims before and I ordered an XXS in like this corset bodysuit thing which looks really cool and you'd think they stretch. Like my first, your first instinct is like it stretches. Believe me, this corset, did, this thing did not stretch. So I'm dubious that this will stretch. It looks like it will fit my niece who's just been born. <laughs> Okay, I'll report back. Honestly, just tried that on. I couldn't even get it past my knees. I'm wondering what size I am in skims. I must be like a small, because that XXS must be for like a 12 year old. Um, I've just tried on the leggings though. I've got some leggings with a ruched bum. Um, don't know if it's too much for like everyday life. I kind of enjoy it because it makes my ass look great. I just discovered Whole Foods by my gym. And I have to say, it was a really good experience. I also just discovered the Waitrose in King's Cross. That was also a very good experience. I was like, why have I suddenly started to really enjoy nice supermarkets? Makes such a difference when it's a nice supermarket. Crisps and avocados.
though. Oh, that was not a good crisp to start this journey off. So good. I'm such a guac fan. My favorite food, Mexican and sushi. I'd like to have a little chit chat with you whilst I'm waiting for my pan to boil for my cup of tea. I say pan and not a kettle because my kettle's broken. And I refuse to buy a new one because obviously I have everything in storage, which leads me on to what I'm about to tell you guys. I think it's time. I think it's time. For those of you that haven't joined on the journey, <laughs> I feel like it's been a mad, a mad, mad few years. I don't even know where to begin. But this time last year, I moved into this flat thinking that it was a short term let because I couldn't get down to London in time before the flats were going because last September the London rental market was ridiculous. People were going in wave of asking price, there was like 50 people putting in an offer to every flat and they couldn't get down from up north where my parents live to see the flat in time before it was going. So this came on the market, it was a three month short term let, no one wanted it, I guess no one was looking for a short term. It was fully furnished and I just moved in for three months so I could, my, the idea was to look whilst I was here because I could go see places then. However, I just, the landlord here let me stay. It was, a, it was just a convenient rolling contract for me and him, I guess. I, I, I just, it's worked out and I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason because this has been a godsend. Whilst I figured out what I wanted to do without signing any long-term contracts. It was just perfect and I had the little roof terrace which my vitamin D levels have gone through the roof because now having experienced a roof terrace I cannot ever not have outdoor space in London. It is so good for your soul to just have a bit of sunshine. So this flat has been amazing however I do have a rat <laughs> and I do have mice. So the upstairs of this flat is actually really really lovely and feels clean and it's really nice. The downstairs where I am now, which is why I'm talking about this, it just feels so dirty. Like I've found two dead mice in here. I found a rat in here, a very much a live rat. And it just made me laugh because today when we were after the event, we got the tube and there was a little mouse and I was like, so okay with the rodent. <laughs> I was like, I'm so used to living with me rat that like, it doesn't bother me anymore. But obviously it's not a good situation, but it was just a great, stepping stone I guess to the next stage which is yeah it's just been perfect so I'm gonna be starting the house and situation not to definitely move but to like push myself in that direction I think probably to buy I really want like a reno not a reno project as in structurally but like I really want that I really need to go so I'm looking for something in London I think that yeah I can move on to because I just feel like it's time to like maybe I'll say this if I'm buying a house I'll probably be in here for like six months longer isn't it but yeah I think it's like this will be the second year my Christmas tree is, is still in storage which makes me so sad and I refuse to buy any more Christmas baubles for a tree because I have like my Christmas decorations I was like so into it and I have so much in storage that I just cannot physically get myself to like buy Christmas decorations so when I realized that it would be the second year that my Christmas tree was in storage it got me quite sad so yeah I just want my stuff and I'm so sick of this downstairs like the bathroom and the kitchen feel dirty and I don't know I'm gonna take you along the house hunting journey with me I guess and see if we can be a grown up together because this adulting thing is so hard. Like props to people that have done like house shiz by themselves and stuff. Like, yeah, you go girl. <laughs> Cause it's, it's hard not having like someone else to throw a decision at. So I think that's why I've been putting it off for so long cause I feel like, yeah, it's a scary step, isn't it? And yeah, the reason I've had to wait also to get, cause I was really up for buying like maybe last year or something, but cause I got scammed out of that money, the 50K, it wasn't just the money that got scammed. It was like obviously a large portion of a house deposit. 
and um, it was 50,000 I got stolen so 50k which is in a ridiculous amount there's a whole legal situation going on with that and I will hopefully fill you in one day with what's happening but um I will get her don't you worry <laughs> I will never let this go just for like I just don't want people people that are bad to, to get away with stuff just out of morals they want to get like so they don't do it to anybody else but um yeah it wasn't just like the deposit it was like getting a mortgage with your self-assessment because there was such a chunk missing it like lowered how much like I could get on a mortgage so it was a really annoying thing so I've had to wait for that year to kind of pass so now I've got two full years without that year so hopefully fingers crossed things will be in a such a better situation I thought I'd just share a lot with you my pen is ready but I thought I'd share this journey in as much as I can with you even about the complicated mortgage and the money side of things just because I have no idea and if I had someone going through that I could like really do it with I'd, I'd like to watch that so yeah Good morning guys, it is Monday morning and I'm starting off the week. I'm gonna go visit, Actually, I have no idea. I think I'm going to have a meeting in store because that's what they initially said, but then they sent me like a Teams meeting invite. So I'm a bit confused whether I'm meant to be in store or it's a zoo, like an overlying meeting. So I'm gonna head to the store because I feel like that's the best scenario if it's the other way around. So who knows, I could be going to try on some diamonds right now. I could be going to Central for no reason. We have no idea. Um, but I'm going to show you around a brand called Tasaki. It's on Bond Street and I've walked past it a million times. They have the most beautiful diamonds. So I don't know, like <laughs> when you get invited to try on diamonds, you go. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've got one of my favorite outfits on. I've worn this a lot. It's a blue shirt. Hang on, let me show you. Thought I'd show you my outfit. Tasaki store on Bond Street. You guys have probably seen it in the back of my videos a lot, but I've just come in store today to check out their beautiful jewelry. They're renowned for their pearls, and I've just been fascinated on how pearls are made. <laughs> <laughs> Oyster, for, who knew oysters made these? It's crazy. But we're going to show you a little bit around the store. It is stunning. Like, even just for the decor, I feel like this store's worth a visit. <laughs> so, we're just here, and I'm going to show you all the jewelry that we have at the moment. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to talk through some of the pieces that they have in the store at the moment. So as you can see, Bond Street is behind. So uh, this is our collection here called Danger. This is the ultimate danger collection because it's mixed with diamonds. Danger. Well. danger. Yeah, danger. I like it. I mean, as you can see, like all the spikes. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm wearing the neck. And so we have our Akoya pearls here, which is our speciality because uh, we're a pearl brand mostly. mostly. And then... Uh, is that a bangle? Yeah. That's a really nice bangle. bangle. Um, and then the diamonds that we use uh, are from the bears, because we're the only side holder of the bears. So we only work with high quality pearls and high quality diamonds as well. I like the name Danger for yeah. a pearl brand. It's like the juxtaposition of like something so dainty being called Danger. Exactly. Uh, this is our new collection from the Danger collection. The pearls. Yes. Have you heard the, the Howard's myth about the pearls? Howard's myth? Yeah. Aww. Why the girls used to wear pearls and Harrods. Google it. I think oh. I've heard it, yeah. Have you heard it? Yeah. <laughs> like your typical jewelry? Oh, stunning, these ones. Mm. If you were going to yeah. a garner the rich Paris last month and I wore this choker with an Oscar de Laurenti dress and I've just become obsessed with like jewelry around. Like it looks so ethereal. <laughs> what are you doing on a Monday? Well, <laughs> just having a casual try on. Let me put it on you. Okay, go. Oh, do, do you want to put it on yourself? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> so, don't just out of curiosity, how much does something like this cost? Do you know your? I don't know. Do I have to remortgage a house? 
Probably. <laughs> Not joking. Is there a mirror? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I feel like royalty. <laughs> It really suits you because you need to have a long, slim yeah. neck. Can't you just actually put an open shirt? Yeah, collar? I just thought. Rather than just with like a formal dress, that's really cool, like this. Like, how powerful does that look? If I was yeah. first lady of like a president. Yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want like, it could even be quite business. That would be funny. You could go to like a board meeting with that. Oh, this is the whole new vibe. I feel like, this is a vibe, right? This is a vibe, yes. I'm yeah. going to start wearing chokers. Right? Yes. <laughs> this is six million. Oh, no, these are, no. Like, <laughs> she starts at size six millimeter, but these are much smaller. They're quite hard to farm. It's not yeah. six million, guys. Aww. <laughs> so it's 67,300. Okay, so only a small remortgage. Yeah. No, that's okay. <laughs> Do you ever dress celebs for like events and stuff? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 All the time, yeah. Who's, who's the biggest celeb that's worn to Saki? Kylie Minogue, Kate it. Blanchett. Apparently I'm Kylie a doppelganger with Kylie. Oh yeah, I see yeah, it. A little bit yeah, of right? Which I, yeah. I really enjoy when people tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I will still be wearing hot pants until I'm like 50. Yes, you should. <laughs> You know, she, one of our rings she liked so much, she bought it. So she's worn oh, yeah. our stuff quite a few times. So, oh yeah, basically, in these earrings, you can either uh, wear it like alone or with this little drop. Ah, so it's, I, do you know what? I really enjoy so, things that are multitask. Yeah. So you can get different, like, even in clothes, like things that you can do different ways. Yes. Yeah. It's so much more enjoyable and it doesn't take too much to make something. Exactly. Purpose. So for an evening wear, you could have it dangling. Yeah. Duk, or. And then, if you want to, to wear it alone, like yeah. this, which is quite cool. Just an up close of these. What are these earrings called? Do we, do they have like, danger. They're from, the, from danger. the Danger Collection. Yeah. So this is the Danger Collection, and I was just saying, I feel like collars and shirts. Oh, it's just a vibe, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really cool. That is just beautiful. So is it gold with pearls on? Is that the? Queen of pearls. I love it. <laughs> He's a Nepalese American fashion designer. Okay. He's our creative director. So all the pieces you've got on at the moment are like him. <laughs> so mess with it. You've actually got a weapon around the neck <laughs> and a knuckle duster. Exactly. Amazing. I really need to up my game with my jewelry collection. <laughs> <laughs> it feels very underwhelming. Oh, come on. <laughs> that with a holds and clutch bag. Yeah. It would be insane, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. It's a state Like a real plain black outfit with a black clutch holding that. Yeah. yeah. So simple. Perfect. So yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> Next one. 
this with like a bottle salmon, like a bandeau top. Like Ooh, really yeah. Out. I saw something similar in a video. I just just one in my house the other day, but it was like with the. Have you watched the documentary? No. The Holy Moon one. Yes. Wag of the Christmas. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> She detected the hell out of that. It's something I would do. It's such an old thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> so next we've got this pearl choker on and I was just saying these pearl chokers are so trending at the moment. I've seen them a lot, but I just think they don't they look so glamorous. Like even with a shirt. I'm thinking this shirt and this whole choker thing is a vibe. Yeah, it is. But look at the cuff. What what would you call this? A cuff? Yeah, so we got a hand jewel. Hand, yeah. The hand jewel situation. It's just amazing. <laughs> I'm just saying, what better way to start a Monday than to try on like five jewelry, right? Twenty for all so good. I am back. I'm at home. I thought I'd round up this vlog here. It's been a bit of a whirlwind. I've got some amazing things coming up. I have just had an invitation through which is one of my favorite invitations to date. I feel quite honored that I don't quite understand how I've been picked for this or, but we're going with it and I need something incredible to wear. So hopefully we can find something amazing. There may be a red carpet involved, which we're all here for. Um, but yeah, I love you and leave you and I will see you soon for another video.